I know we're talking about beautiful design. Yeah. Let me just pause you for a minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not horrible, is it? That's not, not bad, horrible. huh? Not bad, Aston Martin. It's, it's a bit older, but I'll t if someone gave that to me, I'll take it. Uh, a I wouldn't of, complain. A friend of mine in London had one, and he lent it to me for the weekend. What? Yeah, and I, I need uh, friends like got yours. to drive into, drive into London and um, <laughs> drive down the M4, going very fast, <laughs> illegally. Illegally? I mean, you illegally. That's not on the video. <laughs> it's being recorded, but I, I can edit it out. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, police. Um, <laughs> I don't think they're don't, going to come from London all yeah, the way to Sydney to get speed, you. Don't speed, folks. Don't speed, kids. Speeding your kids if you're <laughs> yeah, watching yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Don't speed, please. Yeah, it's double demerits this weekend. Especially too, my so kids if you're watching this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any, any of our family members, don't speed. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, let's, um, let's get our introductions. Maybe go around the corner when it's not. Yeah, sure, sure. Hopefully not too many cars. Get you to introduce yourself and... Uh, we can get going. Look at that light, man. Look at those buildings. I love this part of Sydney. Yeah, yeah. It's incredible. The colors and wow. It's just the mix of design and it's not being completely gentrified. Exactly. You know. I think that's what I love about Sydney. The architecture is still, at least the facade is still classic. Yeah. Classic yeah. Sydney. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's quiet. Do you want to? All right. Yeah, yeah. So, Introduce yourself, uh, Ben. I mean, that's yeah. not your name, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that is my name. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Ben Greenslade Stanton, um, educator, musician, photographer, creative, you know, jack of all trades, master all trades. of none, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's me. Awesome. Uh, I was going to ask you a question, but of course, the coffee hasn't kicked in yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, coffee. Yeah, what? Yeah. I know you're a coffee snob like me, so tell me about what, what do you like about coffee? Is that a, a vague question? Oh, man. You know, how much time we got? Your, ah, your iPhone all day, will die man. Before, <laughs> before we finish. Um, I should have said, actually, I, and because this is a relatively new thing, I co own a coffee roastery Ooh, as well. Okay, I didn't know sidecar that. Sidecar coffee. <laughs> or, no, sidecar roasters. Okay. So it's so new that I, uh, that I can't even remember the proper tag. You should have but talked I'll, about this in the before oh, we. Oh, well, yeah, don't worry. I'll, um, I'll give you the links. You can link the. Absolutely, there you go. yeah. Folks, sidecar roasting. <laughs> um, what is it about coffee? I don't know. I, I just like it. It's, just like it's it. good. It, it makes me, <laughs> it makes me, makes me be able to function. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and I've gone through a whole bunch of different. My coffee journey is different. Like last year, I was a little little um, unwell and stuff. So I went from being like a black coffee drinker for okay. very many years. And now I struggle with it a bit. So I, I kind of hit the, the oat milk. The oat milk. The oat milk, alternative milk, flat white sort of vibe. So yeah, you know, it's, it's exciting. <laughs> it's good. It's, and what are you shooting with for today, Ben? What do you got on your today? What have I got today? The uh, M11 Mono. Like yep. um, Thank hey, you. Hey. Very excited yeah. about the other one as well. Yeah, fans. you got fans. Um, I said it'll be your fans, not my fans. <laughs> oh, mate. please. No. Um, it's all about you today, Ben. Yeah. All about you. M11 Mono, Elmer at 28 mil Ooh. on this. Um, and, oh, uh, well, you know, if, if, the other, if the other baby comes out, We'll introduce it we'll when introduce it comes it. out. You know, let's not, we'll make it jealous, you know. We've I'm already to, jealous. You yeah. had the M11 mono with you today. Know, but you don't want the cameras to become jealous because nah. then they won't work for us, you know, you know. Oh, gosh. Um, well, I'm excited to uh, get to know you a bit more today. We've uh, chatted before here or there, but today. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We chatted before we came out about a lot of stuff, about being introverts, um, That's it. which seems to be a lot of our friends in, in the industry of photography are introverts. Absolutely. Uh, which Absolutely. is a good thing. I don't think anyone should think differently about introverts. I think we build good relationships. We're loyal. We're good people. Not that extroverts aren't. Um, but before we talk about that, where do you want to go out of it? Which way do you want to go? I don't know. I'm going to struggle with, like, I'm, I'm going to struggle to multitask in this <laughs> sense. I was thinking about that when I was walking up to meet you. It's like, and from watching Dan's, like, Dan, Dan's, Dan seemed to be all over this, this multitasking thing, but it's like, I'm terrible at it. I can't seem to even be able to walk and talk. So, um, I don't know, should we head? To that let's, way? Sure. let's head north, north. and a little. Um, 
and see. Imagine I don't know. We, got hit by car we, we, can't, we can't double up on, on Dan's either. Like he went and hit in Opera House, I know. Opera House in the key, you know, I'm like, <laughs> oh man. There's a or the prime, quay, as prime, he calls it, Dan, if yeah, you're watching. The, the quay. Hey, Dan. <laughs> thanks work for on, taking... Work on your pronunciation. Thanks for taking the... The, the most iconic the, yeah, place yeah. in Sydney. Yeah, Man. Dan. That's what you get. Yeah. Far um, out. Well, we can go... I'm just trying to think. The well, rocks? Do you want to do the rocks? We can do the rocks, but I was also thinking, you know... Uh, we could maybe swing up Martin Place. Martin Place. Oh, yeah, yeah. We could light over there maybe now. Could be yeah. a thing. Man, it's cold this morning. I know, right? it's cold, man. My hand holding this gimbal is, I think, you frozen. You didn't bring your gloves. <laughs> Next time, tomorrow morning. It does get morning. cold in Sydney, folks. Uh, it does. For all you international oh, viewers. Uh, let, me, let me share a really quick story about silly me arriving to Sydney for the first time mm. in 2008, yeah. in July or August, sorry, August. Oh, yeah. And I was wearing thongs, a t-shirt, <laughs> and a pair of jeans, thinking Sydney's always warm and, yeah. and beautiful. That's what I see in the videos and photos. Yeah. I froze my big fat butt off that yeah, morning trying to get to my hotel. So I've learned that the winters do get cooler in Sydney. Um, but back to you, Ben. Yeah. Enough about me. Oh. Tell me about photography. What got you? I'm curious to know because you're an artist, you're a musician, you're a yeah. teacher, you're in the giving, I guess I would say. Like you're a person who shares the art with others. What got you into photography? Uh, in all honesty, you know, music, I was trained in music, in a musical family, um, highly influenced by um, my grandfather, who was, um, sorry, we shouldn't walk down the main street, <laughs> um, who was a, a musical arranger, pianist, conductor, okay. director with, throughout the 50s, 60s, 70s, worked with a lot of these a lot of big pop artists and um you know they i grew up he retired and and moved to sydney as well so it was, you know growing up it was a big influence right so music was always a a thing um I went you know went to uni and moved to london oh wow all for for music um and then sort of moved into education as a lot of artists and creatives do as a way to kind of support um oh, bike rider to support uh support the art and and you know be able to live and um yeah i'd, I'd say i was relatively successful through through that you know jazz contemporary music pop funk soul that sort of thing and then i um in 20 like 2016 to 2018 for I ended up quitting my um, education post okay and went touring like pretty much full-time touring with a band it was based out of the UK which was great and in that time I don't know I, I kind of got burnt out it was it was hard touring was hard for me you know um, what was uh, it that made it difficult or hard? Was it the time I don't know, away? like I, I think, yeah, yeah, I didn't... <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of my closer friends who know me for a long time, and it was like, oh, you're going through your kind of midlife crisis. And, <laughs> and um, you know, there was just a lot of change, a, a lot of change. I, I didn't have, um, you know, I was living out of a bag. For, right, for, right, okay. For, for two years, essentially, uh, near, near enough two years. Um, and I think it was just what I, what I tell my students, what I tell family, and it's true. I mean, I say what I tell, but it's true. Um, I think I, if I was 10 years younger, I'd have kept doing it, but I just got burned out. Okay. Like I, I got yeah, burned I out that. from music, from touring, from, from everything. That's how I felt. And, um, yeah, okay. yeah, and uh, sorry, we were talking about photography. photography. What got you into then, and then yeah. I moved back to back to Sydney. Um, my, you know, through through those those couple of years, relinked with an old an old friend, and and now we're married, and we've got our first kid on the way, and in, in a in what less you, than a what month. What do you guys do? Less than a month, okay? Yeah, yeah, less than a month. Exciting, um, man. Yeah, exciting. so so there's a lot of change <laughs> on its way. Um, 
but I was always interested in photography, okay. you know, and, and so forth. I think it's probably through music, like um, cover art and, and gig photography and stuff like that. And um, and then when I moved back to Sydney, you know, during lockdown, I, I was just like, right time, right place. I had some money. I'm like, I'm going to get the get the camera that I want and I was studying at the time too so um, I'm working full time it was a busy busy time um, and I ended up having the body for like six months with no lens because I couldn't afford a lens oh, wow, okay. and, and I was like okay that's cool because I can't afford the time to go out I'm so busy <laughs> and then I got the lens and, and and so forth and it just feels right for me now like I I still do a bit of music, obviously through my education, teaching, I still love music, but it's just that my priorities and, and where I feel most creative Is has really bit. moved to to the camera. You know, that's that's what I can what I can say, you know, and I've always had these other interests, you know, graphic design, architecture, and that's probably where, you know, you haven't asked it, but I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure no one's gonna care but like when i first started shooting it was during lockdown and the architecture the buildings kind of were the things that that interest me i've always kind of appreciated architecture design and, and so forth so no that's a great um, story and so yeah uh, please feel free if i'm not asking you something and you want to share it do share it this is this is all about you today i'll, I'll overshare overshare man regret later no no honestly <laughs> i think the more authentic the more vulnerability we show especially as as introverts i think the more people connect with us and see you know what we go through because sometimes it's i struggle to put things in words um yeah. so what well, just camp out this? here a little yeah, bit yeah. Well, as you as you're kind of panning around i like There's on these days light. where that like in the winter when the sun's not necessarily super high and stuff i like in sydney you know i don't necessarily love all of the 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 amount of new design yeah. and, and stuff for a lot of the buildings as we were saying before you know it's i love the mix but when you get these lovely reflections it's crazy right Look and that. you know as you can see straight up here there's like it's pretty there's not a lot going up the up towards the botanical gardens end like at this point but just here it's beautiful it's beautiful it's just a little quiet i want to head head this way for a second to see what i can uh, so what's your process been when you're out and you find a spot? Like, tell me what's going through your mind at the moment, if you can. Um, obviously the light, you talked about the lights, the architecture. Is there anything else that you're looking for at the moment when it comes to making photos? Um, no, I think, you know, look, I, was, I trained in, in, in jazz and, 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 and creative music, like, in, I think probably if you think of the concept of improvisation a little bit, um, I'm not I'm not too choosy, I guess, in a sense. Okay. Like I don't like I love this little bit of light, but I'm happy to shoot in in something that's quite quite dull and, and flat as well. Okay, like interesting. it's um, it just you know like the times that we you know we don't. <laughs> I, I don't shoot, you know, it's not my profession. It's your profession, not what, it's not your main it, source of income. It's not my main source of income. Yeah. So, you know, when I have the moments to go out and shoot, I don't want to only, um, I don't want to only uh, have to wait for the perfect light day. Sure. You know, I want to be able to find something whenever I'm out. Okay, um, I like and that. And anyone, you know, <laughs> anyone who's seen my, my Instagram, I'm not, necessarily you know not everything's the the greatest shot in the world but i want to try and find something like i, I do want to, whatever i want to post or whatever i i like i want to make sure there's an element in there that that i like that i'm maybe learning from that i can look at that i can improve upon next time you know i i you know <laughs> That, I, that's basically that, you know, yeah. sharing my process in a sense, probably, again, oversharing, regret later. No, but. no, <laughs> not at all. I, I love that 
to us. I mean, the, the, fa the last couple of conversations that I've had with other photographers, this sort of thing has come up around focusing on a journey as opposed to really thinking about the end goal, right? Just, uh, yeah. It's just yeah. as important as the end goal. And for you, that was, that's very humbling to hear is that you're really, at the moment, just thinking about, just enjoying the art of photography as opposed to thinking about perfection. Yeah, um, totally. And being yeah. so open and showing vulnerability in your showing your process, um, which is just wonderful. I, think. And it's, I feel like a lot of photographers in Sydney, uh, especially in our little community of street photographers, are that way. They're just open and honest and happy to share where a shot was made or happy to share the process or... Oh, totally, man. Like, I think it's... Um... <sighs> I'm serious about it, but I'm also comfortable with laughing at myself, you, you know. <laughs> well, we have to be, right? We have to be comfortable laughing at ourselves. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. we take ourselves too seriously. Yeah, that's it. What's life uh, all about? Yeah, I, I think maybe, maybe to my detriment, like I just, I don't make a joke out of everything, but I find <laughs> if I can throw something in that either makes me laugh or someone else laugh, it's... For sure. It, it, you know, I think humor is an important thing yeah. because if we take ourselves too seriously, it's, I don't know. That's boring. I don't know. It's boring. That's boring. And... We're not being true to ourselves. Yeah. We're not helping anyone else grow. Um, no, I, I'm totally with you on that, man. I'll tell you what, it's nice standing here for a minute because the sun warms the, the you reflect up. It, it's not too hot. And just at the same warmth. time, it's just a nice so little warmth. It's my like... right hand can uh, start oh. <laughs> to unfreeze a little bit. <laughs> yeah, man, you'll have to uh, you'll have to get some hot water on your hand so it unclamps so it up, the, yeah. the gimbal. The gimbal. Oh my gosh. You know, it's funny. Like it's starting to get a little bit busier now. Like I, as I said, when I first started really <laughs> shooting and going with this stuff, it was COVID. So you know, like. It was dead in the city. It was, you know, this would have been seasons like unbelievably busy. And, yeah. you know, going back to that introvert natural state, like I don't love crowds. And I think that came a bit from my burnout of, of from music and stuff. I'm so used to being in crowds and cramped spaces or, or whatever. But now I've, over the years, the years of being shooting, I, I think I'm kind of more influenced, like, if, if someone asks me what, you know, what my style is or whatever, you look at uh, what I post, it's, you know, probably as a negative as well, like, it's all over the place. It's a little, you know, I don't, like yourself, like, um, like Chris Foreman, his, his work, um, or so many photographers, so many great. I love the work, you know, that kind of more isolated, in, in, integrating with the, that, yeah. with the light and the, the architecture and the surrounds. I love it. And I love shooting like that sometimes, but I don't always Honestly. look at that and shoot like it. And uh, I don't know, like if, then I look at like someone like Bruce Gilden, look at his work, and I didn't initially like it when I started, and now I love it, you know, and it's funny, it's a journey, right? It's and, a journey for and sure. And I can't, maybe some people would be like, you yeah, I'm finding my style, and, and I think I am, I think we all are, it's that journey, but I just like, as you said, like, what do I look for? I just like shooting. Just like shooting. I, like I love it. Making it's, photos. And you know, that reminds stuff. me again around taking the pressure off. This is just came up with Emmanuel is mm. taking the pressure off yourself when you're going out. And a lot of photographers go out. They've got a, a specific photo in mind. They've got this pressure of I have to go home with a keeper or two where I love that you're just going, I just want to go and shoot. I just want yeah. to go and enjoy. So tell me then, what, what joy do you get from photography? What is it? I and mean, it's a creative outlet from what I'm gathering from you. It's a, it's a journey that you really enjoy. Is there anything else about photography that kind of makes you like, I just want to go out and shoot? What, what, what is it? Is there anything there? Is there a, is the passion? Is a desire from the inside? Yeah, it's something like, I feel like I'm creating and I feel like I'm sorry yeah. I, we might want to move from this spot That's but okay. I just, we can move. just see a little um, a little something here maybe
Um, yeah, like, um, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Great one. Uh, what is the, you're uh, referring to um, the joy you get from just oh, yeah, shooting, yeah, not the yeah, pressure yeah, of, yeah. you know, so I having don't know. to have a... Yeah, yeah, like, um, I like, I like being out walking and exploring, like always, yeah. that's always been a, a thing. Um, and, you know, all, all you need is your legs and, and, your, <laughs> and, uh, um, and your, your camera. And a bit of time and a camera. Your camera and, and you're out. And I think, especially like a couple of weeks ago, we were in Melbourne, my wife and I, kind of doing a, did a road trip down there, a bit of a, a last, last trip just to both of us. I mean, obviously there's a third before the baby currently, arrives. but before, the, yeah, <laughs> you know, um, and uh, enjoying your freedom while, uh, while yeah, you've got exactly, it. exactly, and um, you know, I think uh, it's you know, I don't know Melbourne really well, but I like it every time been there and stuff. So um, it was like wake up in the morning, pick up the cameras, walk, or maybe walk. get in the tram, go whatever, you know catch up with friends or whatever it is but not necessarily you know other than that there's no expectations there's no expectations yeah. but I'm but, but the creative process is flowing you're seeing seeing things you know you're experiencing the, yeah. the city the town whatever and it's not you know you're a tourist in a in a sense, yeah. like a, but um, the you know it's not cost anything. I think that's there's something. It's not cost anything, and it's not cost anything to create. It's cost some time and some some effort. But you've gone out and experienced things, of architecture, seeing the people, maybe chatting to the people, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, and, uh, but you've experienced things, yeah. you know, and you've yeah. created something, you bring something back that's, that's important. You've learned something. A little photo shoot going on here. That's a very <laughs> colorful. Um, very colorful. Let me show that's you a pan nice, around. Nice place for, for that to take place in this little colorful that's area. Close enough for people to see, but yeah, there's, Probably a Instagram shoot right there happening. Yeah, yeah. As we shoot for YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Wow. Um, Very colorful. Very good. If I can try to recap what you've just said. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> um, <laughs> if I can get my camera to pan back on you. There we go. Come on, camera. You're killing me. Still learning this gimbal. There we go. No, focus on. Yeah, gimbal's hard, hard to work out, man. Oh, I struggle with them. Finally got you. Yeah. Okay, so if I can try to recap what you just said, yeah. it's around <laughs> um, having no expectations, no pressure, just being out, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. to experience creativity, yeah. get, the, get the creative juices flowing, meeting, walking, like it's just living. Like if I, if I were to put that mm. in, in one word, it'd be just living life and creating, right? Because it's living, creating, and you can kind of do it yourself or you can be sociable like we are now. You can be, there would be a couple of people we build and you end up in a community, you yeah. know, like that, that's that been a great thing, you know. I, you know, how I was thinking, I was chatting to someone when we were at the Leica event the other night, um, but it was interesting because I stood there listening to Jesse talk, who's you know, um, become a great mate as, as well as everyone else who's, who's there from Sydney and, and stuff. And I was thinking, okay, so I, I kind of met, met him and then I was introduced to, to her and, and him and the build, you know, like just in that room at that point, I was like, there's a great, there's a great- uh, Little community, right? Great community. And, yeah. and you know, we, that was the first night I met Lewis. And I think I introduced Same, you yeah, to Lewis yeah. that night and. You know, he'd only just come up from Melbourne and, uh, you know, like... I could have before that. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. Just, it's really great. But too. then we've met it, you know, we know everyone kind of through, uh, 
the online space as well. You, you know, it's like you like or comment, reach out and chat on Instagram. Absolutely. And then <laughs> even when, when I first met you in person on Anzac Day, I think that was the first time where it really... Yeah, yeah, I think so. Because uh, I remember walk, you'd, you'd had to go and I remember walking back down there um, with John and the, and the guys and I was like, what was his Instagram? And I was like, like it all just came together, <laughs> you know, sometimes it's... It's, it's hard to... Um... It's hard to meet someone online, right? Especially through Instagram mm. and especially for photographers because all we're sharing is our work. We're not really sharing our faces, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. then you That's meet right. someone like Lewis that you mentioned. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Saw his work. I shared his work because his work's That's brilliant. fantastic. Yeah. yeah. A, uh, and then I'm meeting him in person going, oh, you're yeah. so young. <laughs> you're like that half man, my age. That was, that was it. He let it slip. Because, <laughs> like, you know, like I don't really care how old people are. I, I work with young young people all the time. But, but I was like... Not that we're oh, old, Ben. I mean, we're, when, we're when, young. No, we're, Ish. You know, I feel very old. But, um, <laughs> he, especially when he's there and he's like, yeah, look, I'm only 23. I was like, oh, oh man. Don't say that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. You've yeah, had then, the gift of time. I've like, students who, uh, you know, it, it still floors me that, like, there's students that I teach in high school or whatever, and they were born in like 2006 oh, yeah. or something like yeah. that. I'm like, what? No, that's yeah. weird. Yeah, like, what? It's, what? it's like, wait, got, born in 2000? Yeah. Well, no, what? hang on, that's probably not right. Um, but I've got friends who, friends. Are, friends who are, hang on, what, what year are we? 2006? 2023. Oh, no, they'd, they'd be like, they'd be, yeah, 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 2006, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That works. you know, like, it, Anyway, maths wasn't my strong point. <laughs> You're an artist, not a mathematician, yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, maths. Like, I don't tax. It's, you know, it's not interesting. There's a little reflection oh, that's a great here. Spot. Nice, nice pickup, man. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to bore time, you. This is... oh. So, I'll find little pockets like this, and people walk past and go, what the hell's. Why is he pointing a camera in a glass thing and I hope the microphone's picking up what you're saying because I cannot hear what you're saying oh yeah well it's right it's probably just distorted because I nearly ate the dead cat on the but that's a on the thing I mean, people but, yeah. can probably see this now I'm we'll share the photos as well that looks fantastic the reflection the light shadows mm, really nice pick you know it's funny you um it's I did a podcast, the Leica Street Photography Collective. I like when I kind of early into my photography thing um, with with Ricky. It's a great podcast. You guys should check it out on Spotify or whatever. But um, he uh, it was a great great chat that we had with him. And um, you know he he often uh, you know there's that question like are you uh, do you fish or do you um, Cam uh, oh, what what camp, is it? Yeah. Fishing, camping? I, I can't I think remember. So, yeah. um, is it fishing and yeah, camping? I know camping is definitely one of them. Anyway, camping, I know you mean. Uh, and, and, uh, yeah. Um, or hunting. Hunting. Maybe, maybe fishing walk, or Yeah, hunting. the hunting is the yeah, walking hunting around. Hunting is the walking. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. We know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> right, um, the terminology is not important. Yeah, ben. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's neither here nor there. Whatever it is, like, do I stop in a place or do I walk a lot? I generally do a lot of walking because I'm impatient and I like the walk, you know, but sometimes when you find these things, especially when it's a bit more quiet, like sometimes I find I will stop at a spot yeah. for a little bit and just just see, but I think that kind of hits a bit more of like the, the improvisatory sort of thing and just going for it and seeing what happens, you know. No, I get that. I get. I don't know if there is a right or wrong answer to that. It's like oh, no, no, whatever no. the moment is, no, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't. I, there's no right or wrong, right? Like the only, the only wrong for anyone, I think, is doing something that doesn't feel right for them at the time, right? Um, for sure. All the rules, like you, sure, you know, it's important to know, know the rules, the technicalities of your, your work. Um, the, the tools that you're using, but at the same time, like the rules are there to be broken. What is it? Um, one of my uh, one of my favourite 
one of my favorite musicians, Miles Davis. Oh, yes. You know, I've got to throw in the quote. I love this quote. Any, if any of my students end up seeing this, they'll be like, oh, shut up, stop saying that quote. <laughs> um, but it's a uh, quote that he, um, quoting Miles Davis, he said something, uh, do not fear mistakes, there are none. And, you know, he's, I really do fall into that. Um, I really do believe that. No, 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 no. I really do believe that. Don't know mistakes, um, yeah. That, I agree that with concept, you. like, yeah. you know, like, I think the only, <laughs> I think a mistake would be to. Not to do the, things. The mistake is fearing the mistakes, yeah. you know. Exactly. Like, um, and I understand, you know, we were talking about it before when we had coffee. <laughs> Um, Your thing. Sorry, I'm You're going to good. stop Take talking for a minute. Multitasking, Sorry. not strong point. Um, now I've lost my train of thought as That's well. That's okay. God, what a great video this is going to be. <laughs> hours of me going, oh, I forgot what I was saying. What's going on? Um, the. Let me try something here, actually, just whilst we're... It's okay. Just whilst we're here. Oh, that's a nice one. So everyone can see what Ben's looking at. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, nice. this will be dead dead air time. No, no, it's Lose totally fine. So what I'll probably do is I'll end up putting yeah, yeah, the cut photos it, over it. Yeah, cut I'll it cut it, it off with the photo over it. Yeah, yeah. If I get something. Even if you, yeah, even if you don't, it's totally fine. It's the right idea. It looks... Just need a few more people. Uh, a couple of people coming. Trying to, what are you trying to mess do? around yeah. with that slow shutter speed thing. Ah, oh, okay, okay. This would be, this would be all right. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Experimenting, huh? Get something that. like, something like that. We swear the light. That looks is. really cool, man. That's, yeah, uh, it's uh, kind of inspired by what I'd posted by the the legend, the the original, um, this morning, Trent yeah, Park, Trent. that sort of that sort of work. You know, you can't really go past street shooting in Sydney without without mentioning uh, the, mentioning the Trent. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, amazing stuff. And it's just unbelievable stuff. Actually, I, I, here I'm going to throw in another music quote for a second. Yeah, do it. it um, there's another trumpet player, another jazz trumpet player. Um, this has stuck with me since like uni days. So it was quoted in one of the textbooks that we used. Um, he said, what was it? Um, Imitation, assimilation, innovation. I really believe that as, as well, that, you know, there's, I, I was like it in, with music as well. There's, there's some, some creative, Expert, like experts, some creatives, um, musicians, artists, whatever it is, some people try not to be, um, not to check out other, um, other others, others, yeah. others work. Yep. Um, and and then some people really embrace it and, and feel learn from it. I'm from that latter category. You know, I love immersing myself in and being inspired by others Absolutely. work. And I don't mind being influenced by it because I think, you know, in, in, in music, in Western music, you know, there's, there's only so many pitches, there's only so many rhythms and, and so forth. And 
Um, it's interesting, you know, if you, you look at some of the, the, the court cases recently of, of um, music that's, that's right. you know, what's yeah. copied, blah, 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 the songwriting thing, you know, heck, we could do, I could, I could write a book. But um, the, the same thing here, it's like, I love ph photography. I, I love being inspired by art, by, by whatever it is. And uh, like you and I could stand in this spot right now, both have the exact same camera or, you know, um, and shoot the exact same scene and we could both post it on Instagram at the same time. There'd be similarities, like sure. For sure. But yeah. they'd also be, like, from my in my opinion, they'd be hugely different. Even For if sure. we set yeah, our yeah. cameras at the exact same, same setting, yep. setting, and same we lens, we yeah. somehow managed to correlate our uh, um, our, <laughs> our shutter sync to hit at the same time, I still believe that there's there's a difference. There is an yeah. inherent difference because where people are in that frame if there's people moving through or whatever it is there's a difference and you know there's room for it for sure. you know your vision you saw it you chose to to shoot that space or that that yeah. that scene i chose to make that scene blah 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 blah. you know we can go deep but oh absolutely i mean uh, i'm i'm also i'm not precious you, you know what i mean <laughs> i think um what is it imitation is the highest form of flattery, uh, flattery or something yeah. like that and for sure um, and you learn from it, is what I was saying before about... I think, yeah, we, um, we all start out imitating. I mean, I don't believe there is any originality left in a lot of things that we do. It's just how do you put your own spin on, uh, on what's already been created, right? I mean, I think it was a Simpsons episode. Was this episode? <laughs> says, love the Simpsons. I love right? a Simpsons quote. Yeah, yeah. Simpsons already did it. Oh, man, they like those guys, Matt Groening right. and those writers. The music, like The Simpsons is probably, I, I don't know, it's, it's a huge pop culture influence, but, you know, I love it. I mean, we're the same age, right, as, as I worked out. Um, so, you know, and we grew up in very different countries in a young age. Absolutely. But we can, we can talk about The Simpsons, right? It's funny, <laughs> isn't it? Absolutely, man, um, absolutely. And to your point again, I've, I've been out uh, with other locals in the yeah. same exact spot. Yeah. Um, and we walk away with either completely different photos or one of us just goes, nah, just not for me. Yeah, yeah. It's not my spot. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, completely get it, man. Um, what, so, I'm assuming when it comes to inspiration, we, you talked about so photography, you talked about yeah. music. Yeah. Is yeah. there anything else that inspires you when it comes to photography or just in general? Like, if um, you're feeling down. Yeah. Do you, what, what can help you kind of get out of that funk or when you're looking for inspiration, where do you go to? Um, yeah, right, like it's... Do you experience, by the way, do you experience the ebbs and flows of... Oh, man, yeah. Like ...energy the, yeah, totally, and desire totally. to like, go out, yeah? Desire, you know, look, <laughs> there's nothing more humbling than dumping your memory card or, or you know, I shoot film sometimes too, I mean, a, a little bit less now because of the cost. Um, so I'm a little bit more um, direct about when I want to shoot film. But there's nothing more humbling than, than looking through your memory card dump or your, <laughs> your, your negatives and, and go, you know, you get home, you think, oh man, I've absolutely nailed that, that shot in your mind's <laughs> eye and on the back of your camera, you, you've, you've gone, I love that. That's exactly, I've, I've got it. I've, I've got, got it. it. This is my moment. And then you look at it and it's like, ah, oh, oh, yeah, shit. No. Been there for sure. <laughs> mm, mm. I mean, been there I'm, for sure. I, I'd say that I'm probably there every time. Every time. There's, you know, you're out and you're shooting and um, <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah, this is it. This is it. Um, and, and it's not. But, so, but I will look for the... I'll look for something, you know, and, and uh, more often than not, sometimes it might be time, you know, I need to leave it and come back in uh, a week, a month, a year, yeah. whatever. So I try to be cognizant of that. Um, uh, but as far as, you know, so that's, that's humbling, you know, you sit there and you're like, oh, why did I bother? I'm useless. <laughs> this is crap. I'm imposter syndrome, that sort of vibe, which I've struggled with quite a lot 
right. and still do, and that's that's okay. I've that's learned okay, to absolutely. learned to work with it. Um, actually, I was reading something about that the other day. Um, about imposter syndrome. About imposter syndrome, and okay. I'll probably get this wrong, but they they sort of said it, when once you become educated or more experienced because I, I I'll actually I'll clarify that uh, you know I think you the more you do something you you gain experience you yes. are educating yourself so yes. I, I wanted to just clarify yeah, yeah. that that my conceptualization of education. education isn't necessarily just you know going to school or university doing a course you know, there's more to it than that, in my opinion. Um, but it, it was like, as, as you become more experienced, more educated in something, um, you start to know what you don't know. And, and that's where that, <laughs> uh, it, you know, that's where that imposter syndrome starts to, comes, starts to really flow through. You, re, you know, you have that realization of like, there's a nice little bit of light yeah, there. Um, the, you start to realize what you don't know and, and it becomes, uh, almost becomes overwhelming. And, you know, I oh, my absolutely God. feel yeah. that, you know, and we have yeah. to work with it, right? You do, um, you do, otherwise you just give up, right? So Yeah, exactly. So there's plenty of, plenty of that sort of thing. And um, <sighs> this is one of those moments where, <laughs> as we were saying before, like I'd probably, prefer to have the 50 or a, a yeah. 90 or a 75 just because of this street and where it's at and how many how quiet it is right if this was a busy day and, and there was plenty of people i'd be over that side okay but i feel like if i go stand over there no one's going to walk in front of me so um so how would know. you normally shoot this scene let me just pan around so people can see it mm -hmm. so we're across the street and yeah. that's the spot which is obviously incredible light right Isn't there beautiful light so tell me what you're thinking now, Ben. I'm curious to understand your process now. You I mean, have you a 28 know, what, mil on there, right? Yeah, I got my 28 on here. My my process sitting here thinking about this would be like like it's quiet. So my initial thing would be like, okay, look at the time, I'm like 10 1025. Try take a mental note. Sometimes if I really love it, I might take a, a physical note on my phone, drop okay. a pin or something in the time and sort of go okay, I need to come back here on a weekday, maybe um, when it's a bit more soon, busy. like yeah. I'd be within, you know, the sun moves, the light moves so quickly that I'd, I'd be like, okay, uh, have I got time in the next three weeks? Yes. And if not, I'll be like, okay, yes. I'll set a reminder for next year. <laughs> um, to revisit this spot. To revisit this spot. Um, the other thing is like, oh, I, if I was like, okay, if I had a, lo a longer focal a 50 length, mil, yep. 50 or a 75 or a 90, I'd probably be happy to sit here. I just look at it and I think, I really do think that, like, I might be lucky. I could go and stand over there, seeing how bu it's so quiet just here. It's it never that busy. Quiet. I know. Like, it's pretty quiet, I think, even in the, even in a work day. It's not, it's more of a, a thoroughfare for cars. So, um, yeah, you know, it, it's just one of those things. I'll appreciate it. I'll look at it and appreciate it. It's nice. It is nice. But I'm also like, I don't, it's not, it's not groundbreaking. There's nothing yeah. overly special, but there's plenty of different spaces. So for me, I'm, I'm just like, it's not the right shot right now. Um, and I'd be, I'd be move on because I'm like, Okay. I'm cold standing yeah, it's cold. here, <laughs> and it's you're cold. cold standing here. <laughs> My hands, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have some uh, frostbites when I, uh, no, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. I'm being a big wimp. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're back. We yeah. took a little break for, uh, for me to defrost in the sun. <laughs> and you needed it. Your hand, your hand looks like it's got blood flow again, mate. Good. Thank God. Yeah. I can see the color in my skin again. Uh, <laughs> we didn't um, have to chop your hand off for frostbite. <laughs> yeah, that my wife would not be happy about that. Yeah, yeah. You need um, that hand. And uh, gosh, we're going to pick up a couple of things. So Dan 
Um, not Dan. My God, I was Dan just texted me, so that's why the name's in my head. <laughs> Good Lord. Dan. Dan. Tell Dan. Him, Dan. Leave me alone, it. Dan. Dan. <laughs> uh, so Ben, <laughs> yeah. he took a photo um, of uh, three older people walking by, oh. and um, they, re they had a bit of a reaction. Not, I mean, not a reaction. They just looked back a couple of times. Mm. So I asked him a question while we were off camera. Like, how do you feel about, or how do you go about taking photos, portrait photos in people's potential personal space or um, in their face? Mm. And uh, I think this is a common question. A lot of photographers, especially younger, newer ones, uh, introvert ones, really have a hard time wanting to um, wanting to do this. So. Ben, love to get your thoughts yeah. around uh, how do you approach portraits when it's candid and um, obviously there is a small possibility of confrontation or at least awkwardness. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I think, like, I, I prefer the candid shot. Like, I, I'm an introvert, blah, 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 blah. Like, we know, we know all of this. And um, I, I'm shy, you know. I, not confident around meeting new people um, and doing this YouTube thing, you know, I, I sense <laughs> it, you know, I, um, I think I've been trained, I've, I've got my own ways of dealing with these things, you know, I'm, I'm a musician, I'm a performer, um, the, uh, uh, it's, you know, I've learned to deal with it, I've learned to deal with performance, it's an act, but it's draining, you know, like, if I was on stage or even even doing this, you know, it's not an act, but it's not necessarily me. It's, it's not a the lot same of effort. As, yeah, yeah. It's a lot like, of effort. This isn't in my living room where I'm yes. sitting around in my yeah. pajamas, chatting to my wife, watching the footy or whatever. It's, you know, it's outside me <laughs> as opposed to <laughs> Inside in you. my uh, <laughs> safe apartment. But, um, yeah, like, I, if I'm out by myself... I generally don't, I want to get the, I don't want to be noticed. I want the, okay. um, the candid shot. Having said that, when we're in Melbourne, I stepped up, I, I posted a couple of little street portraits where I actually spotted someone that looked interesting to me, um, or a shot, a scene, the way they were sat, what they were doing, whatever it was. And I'll always try and get the shot without approaching them necessarily, but then, I did. Like I, I just said hi, or I like like what you're wearing. Um, you know, Ooh. I like hey, what coffee you're drinking, whatever it is, um, what book you're reading, um, because I'm genuinely interested. Um, was it challenging to do that? Was it, it challenging? It was challenging. Approach? Like it was really challenging, but um, it was excellent. Like the response was was excellent. You know, like they. Almost like, you know, I, I doom scrolling in my mind, like, oh, what if they tell me to bugger off or they think <laughs> what they think of me, whatever it is. But they, like each of them, um, they, were, they were creative people, you know, and um, two of them were at the National Gallery in Victoria. So like, they were art, artists oh, kind of creating now. them. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you I scroll, like there are a yeah. few back in my, um, my Instagram post, they're still there and um, I kind of reached out and you know, we exchanged um, Instagram handles, handles yep. and I said, hey look I'll, I'll tag you, whatever, and they were really kind and, and friendly and I, I wanted them to be candid, so it's not like looking down the barrel, like I'm not really that sort of shooter, like I'm not a portrait photographer, I don't, it's not my thing, um, so I, I kind of spoke to them but then they were like what do you want to what do you want to do or what do you want me to do and I'm always sort of like don't just keep doing what you were doing I'm, I'm just asking to take take your portrait in the moment but I want mm. you know I want to let them know that that's what I'm doing and often you know that's already affected the moment to an extent but but they were all pretty like they were good like to the point where I liked the photos and I posted them because we could I could get that moment again like the what I experienced uh, was enough in that shot for me to share. Like, that's what I was trying to capture. Um, so that was hard, and I don't do that very often, right. you know. Um, 
because I, I do kind of prefer the more candid, um, the candid sort yeah. of thing. But I, you know, I'm influenced by all sorts of photographers, and as I say, influenced and inspired, and and all of that. So I say that, and then the next next day, I'll you know, I'll, I'll see someone else's photography and, and go, oh wow, that's that's great, and you find out their process or whatever, and. Um, and go. Oh, maybe I should. I could try that and stuff. You know, it's a. As I said before, it's a journey. You learn, try, try different things. Even, even where we're standing here. You know, you're trying to shoot. You're shielding your eyes from the sun. So I'm <laughs> making you look directly no, no, into okay. the sun. And um, just, like I normally wear sunglasses, especially in light like oh, this. Oh, really? Okay. But recently, I've been trying to do it without. Like I get headache from squinting. So I've got my sunnies in the back. Oh. Um, while and you're doing that, I want to pick something up and you just sit around. You mentioned the doom scrolling, don't doom scrolling in your head around yeah. what the possibility of someone's answer would be. Yeah. Do you feel like that maybe is a bit of a fear of rejection around them going no or them judging you? Yeah, or... maybe. Like, uh, like going back to that Melbourne trip, I remember we, my wife and I had gone for breakfast and there was this guy just in the cafe that we were going to, I love this, this cafe was beautiful. Yeah, give your eyes a rest, make me squint, I get you. So I'll look this way, nice off camera shot. <laughs> um, the, the guy was in the cafe we were going on, he had a flat cap um, and I said to, I just, um, I was like, oh, I can try and get this candid shot, but it was quiet like it was earlier and, and all of these things. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna, I was with my wife um, and I think I'll come back to that point of being with, with someone else for a second, but I spoke to him and uh, he said something, like I said, I said, I just said to him, hey man, um, hey, good morning. I said, didn't say hey man, I was, I was like, um, I said, how's it going? I, um, I like your hat or something. And do you mind if I take a shot? Like he was just sat there reading the paper or whatever, having his breakfast. and. Um, and he actually, he denied me. He's like, he said, nah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah he, he just said, uh, no, you've, you know, you've got a hat. Like, I was wearing a hat or so. I, I can't quite remember what he said, but okay. he clearly didn't want, want me to interact with him and take that photo. Interesting. And I was like, okay, like, sure. I felt a little rejected, like, um, and I, I felt a little uncomfortable. Like, I felt bad because I obviously made him, this guy, feel... Lucky at the you as well. Something, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I don't know how he felt. Maybe he was quite happy to, to say no, no, bugger off, whatever, but, like, I felt bad um, for interrupting him, for getting in his space, to enough. But, I mean, we were, I wasn't up in his face or anything like that. Um, so, so, yeah, like, it felt awkward and, and all of this. But I got over it pretty quick. We sat in the same cafe, nice. had had breakfast. I was chatting with That's my wife story. about it. Um, and funnily enough, I mean, we he was sat outside, we sat inside, and I sat with my back to the outside so that he couldn't stare in at me and, and sort of, because I still had my camera out and I was right. taking photos inside. But where I sat down, there was a mirror or yeah, I think there was a mirror. <laughs> so uh, off at this kind of diagonal direction nice. and it was shooting straight back Ahem. and I could see him. <laughs> I didn't, I think I did take the shot, but it wasn't, it wasn't the right shot or anything like sure. that. Um, which is a shame in a sense, because like arguably, if I'd moved around in that side, inside that cafe, it would have been a much better shot than I would have got outside. <laughs> but you know, it's like, it's just a photo at the end of the day. It's a photo of a guy in a hat. He's right. <laughs> it's like, I've got plenty of photos of people with hats. Like I've got hats myself. It's, um, um, it's, you know, who cares who in cares, a sense. Yeah. Like, um, I was also, when it was in, it was in lockdown, just another rejection point. Okay. I, there was an installation in, during COVID or something, because we because I live in the city, I could walk around. It was an installation down um, down near Key, so opposite the Opera House on the um, Harbour Bridge side. There was a there was a thing, and I went I walked down um, to take a photo of this um, 
this thing. I really wish I could remember what, uh, Squid Game. Squid Game, Squid yeah, Games, yeah. Right, so there was an installation, I've not watched Squid Game, so I couldn't tell you what it was, but there was a, a big thing of a, a character from Squid Game. Down oh, there. yep, 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 yeah, I remember it was that, yeah. Like right there. Yeah. And I remember walking down um, one more, really early one morning, because I knew that, I think it was only in for the weekend or something, and I went down before work, so I walked around, both my with my film camera and my uh, mono and um, and like it was quiet-ish but eventually I spent maybe half an hour down there maybe an hour and uh, suddenly more people more and more people were coming up like um, and people were getting selfies in front of it, like really interacting with the space. I'm taking all these shots. Like it was pretty iconic because with my wide angle, you know, I could just about get the Opera House and the, the Harbour Bridge in. Um, and, uh, um, and anyway, people are starting to come in, they're sitting down trying to get selfies and all of this. And, and I'm just shooting away. Um, and at one point there's this, pair of, of women and they've got a tiny little dog with them and um, this dog was really well behaved and they're getting the dog to um, to kind of pose in, in front of it uh, and it came up and sat and I got this cool shot of this little dog really, really behaving and it's all it's all there um, and then they're starting to take shots of one another it must have been for their like Insta, the Insta post or the TikTok post or, or whatever it is, maybe they're influencers, I don't know. Um, and they were trying to get a shot all together, like the both of them and the dog, right? And I'd yeah, say there's like maybe 15 people around. And I'd been there and they noticed me and, and stuff. And I'd taken some shots of them individually as like just candid shots, candid you shots, know. Yeah. Um, and, Anyway, they're both sat there. They're struggling to do the selfie and all of this. And I went up and I said, "Can I? Let, do you want me to help you, or can I take a shot of this as a great scene and whatever?" And they were, no, like they were very pertinent, not wanting me to do that. Um, really? And again, okay. I, I felt a little dejected. Yeah. I didn't feel so uncomfortable because clearly they were. Um, um, yeah, it's Channel 7, mate. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, mate. Um, yeah, yeah. Some more, more friends. Cheeky boy. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So I didn't, I didn't feel, you know, I didn't, I didn't feel hugely disappointed or anything because I'm like, the fact that I'd asked because clearly I, you know, they were taking photos, they were you know, whatever. And I did get shots of them. I just didn't get that specific pose where I could have got everything in the frame exactly right. how I wanted it. But um, the, so I was disappointed for me in that sense uh, at that point. But not rejection but not, maybe. Not rejected necessarily because, you know, maybe maybe they want, <laughs> maybe, they, maybe they're very famous in, in a different space. And maybe right. they didn't want me to pose something on, on them, you know, it's, I, I don't know. Um, the, um, anyway, anyway, sorry, no, rambling, okay. rambling. I mean, you'd have seen just as I sh shot that thing there, like I got up pretty close, but I wasn't, I wasn't here. I was done yeah. here. From the hip, and, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, from, from the chest, from the chest, the hip, whatever. and. Like that's the sort of, like I don't mind if she, I think she probably looked at me. I didn't get the shot that I wanted because I'm, I'm kind of guesstimating, but I can do, I'm more comfortable with that on my 28, right? I'm used to that um, focal length. Um, so yeah, anyway, it's so much nicer in the sun, isn't it's, it? It's much toasty in the sun. <laughs> but your eyes are going to be killed. So your hand's going to fall off and you're going to lose your sight because of, um, so you I'm getting, walk, getting you low on battery. Yeah, let's oh, yeah. Uh, let's um, let's walk a little bit. I was gonna see Ben if there is anything. We <clears throat> we started with your journey in music and how you got burned out from being on the road all the time and mm. 
uh, your, start, uh, your photography journey as well after that. Uh, we've talked about what inspires you, um, the fact that you really immerse yourself in other people's works. Um, I love that you don't go out with the pressure, with the with a specific uh, desire, or maybe not desire, maybe the demand on yourself to get something that day. And it's just a journey. It's just something that you love and enjoy doing. Yeah. And you do it even, even if you got nothing out of it. Uh, and we talked a little bit around, you know, kind of what gets you out of that rut a little bit. If mm. you're down, mm. if you go home with a thousand shots and none of them are keepers. Um, is there anything else that we've missed out to talking about? Uh, is there anything else that people who are watching should know about you? Um, uh, anything that you feel like is going to help them get through a, a part of their lives or a challenge? Let's cross over this way. Yeah. Um, I, I think... Um, I, I think it... I'm going to wait for this. <laughs> going to love it. I think... Um, I think uh, just to touch on one of those points that you just just said, you know, the going out with a purpose and, and so forth and keepers and all of those sorts of concepts. I think, you know, sure, like I'll go through what I've shot even today or whatever and I'll, I'll do an initial cull of just stuff that I know is just fail, just like crap, right. like I've, I've misfired or it's, it's just too whatever it is. Um, but after that point, I... I think there's always something. I think that's probably the key. There's always something, and I'll always value it. If 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 I if it's not something that I deem good enough to to post, then I've learned something, something from, from it, yeah. it. So I'm I'm confident that um, if we go down this way, yeah, yeah, if I'll you've got you. enough battery power, I'll yeah, show, yeah, show you a little yeah, place yeah, that going. I like. Um, I'm, I'm confident that there'll be something and it might mean that I need to wait and it'll, you know, I'll, I'll look at it and I'm like, oh, don't dig this or whatever, but I'll leave it there and I might come back to two months later and go, oh, okay, because my influences have changed in that time or what I'm, I might see something that I missed because, because I'm so, you know, built into the moment that are of knowing what I was trying to catch or trying to shoot, um, that, yeah, you, you know, um, <laughs> that it, it might come back to me, you know, in a sense. So I think as far as wanting to, uh, what's the word, inspire or, you know, heck, Sure, no one's inspired by my photography oh. practice, but um, Come on, ben. but uh, um, just doing it. You know, if I have to give anyone any sort of advice, what I give to my music students or an anyone really, it's like one, you're never too old, but like just just do it. Like it, it's not if you can afford to do it, time, money, whatever it is, just get out and. And just do it. Give it a shot. Like, there's no failure if you, um, you know, the failure is in your own in your own mind and space. You know, emulate, fine. You know, maybe maybe your goal isn't to be the the next Henry Cartier Bresson or whatever. <laughs> and, and, you know, <laughs> heck, look at all of these great photographers. You know, a lot of them. Same with same with musicians, especially in the jazz realm and, and stuff like they've become famous. Uh, you know, fame's one thing, but they like their work has become more important after they've passed, passed or away, as, yeah. as they've gotten much older. Yep. Not when they were 30 years Spot old. Spot on, yes. Yeah, um, and part of that's the technology and the time and the place. And you know, technology is is great in many ways, but it's also overwhelming isn't it you get on the instagram and i, I think oh instagram don't get me started on you that you <laughs> know get wherever get on on the internet yep. it, it's like you're overwhelmed you asked before how how would i re-inspire myself if i'm in a rut or what makes me go out and, and shoot like i think 
part of me is like, you just got to work through that in those days if you don't necessarily feel like shooting. I don't have many of those days. Like, I, I want to go out and do it, you know. Love like, that, love it. If I don't feel very well, like, that's sometimes, you know, if, if it's a headache or tired, whatever, sometimes that's the, the challenge. But push through it and get out. You get in the fresh air and generally you, you feel a bit better. Um, I get energized being out and sometimes you know I'll go back home and I pass out because I'm tired or whatever but that's fine um, but you know checking out other people's work is what inspires me you know and I love it if you have a look just here this is why I wanted to bring us down here um, I love this I love this wall I've taken a few shots down here recently because right behind us it's, it's dead on the weekend but there's some great restaurants there's a fantastic that place there, Costa's Takeaway. Ah, now okay. I'm not, no affiliation here, but I'm <laughs> gonna sponsored. do it. Like in sit, like I had the the best tuna melt I've ever Ooh, had. Okay. In there, That's and then some cold. other fa like fantastic. Um, but we, my wife and I, we come down, sat down here, and um, like in the week, when it's on a Monday to Friday, there's people walking past. I love this. I love this bit of artwork on this wall hoarding this here awesome, by yeah. um, who's it by Felix Saw. Yep. By the looks of it. Get a little might, bit closer for that one. Yeah. Shout see. out to Felix Saw. I might um, I don't know this person, um, but I like it. I awesome love this work, little. Felix. I love this design, and I've got a couple of shots. I haven't posted them yet. Oh, I posted one actually black on the mono. But I've been using the the Q2. It's a bit quiet down here today, so I won't get really what I'm looking for, but. Um, you know, being inspired by art, architecture, my friends, my people, other photographers, musicians, creatives, whatever, um, and and I just think that I'm I'm grateful to be a, a small part of the community in Sydney and Australia, I guess now. Um, you know, and being having been influenced by. Um, um, being influenced and I'm proud to call some of these guys well all of my my colleagues and oh, sorry proud to proud to call them my friends and and fellow photographers yourself human and um Thanks, ben. but you, you know like the the community that we have you know we we hung out we saw Phil Penman a few weeks ago great to chat to him yeah what, what a fantastic Lovely guy, guy. Yep. and then but you know, I work in the same place as Knox Birdie. He's a he's a good mate. Uh, Jesse Marlowe now. You know, I did that that book workshop, book making workshop with him, and just inspired by these guys. You know, like and you saw, you know, everyone in the community. Too it, kind. It's, and I I like it because everyone's shooting so differently. You know, that's that's the thing. We can. Um, I just want to say, I, you know, we've talked quite a lot today and I yep. want to say I'm inspired by you. I'm inspired by the way you think about photography, uh, the, how easy you take it on yourself. I love that you just go out there with no expectations uh, and you just look at it as a journey, like purely as a journey. Uh, and how um, much you've shared today, how, how much you've shown your vulnerability around um, how you feel about having a specific style or having the fact that you're still going through your journey and I think it's really good for others to hear that as well. It's the, the more of that pressure that comes off of you as an artist, I think the more free you are to do what you love the most. And uh, before my battery runs out, Ben, I just want to say yeah. thank you for your time, man. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Um, Boom. To chat to you today and I can't wait to share this with everyone. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks, guys.